area of a sector. Now, what is the sector? Sector is a part of a circle. Suppose this is a circle with center O. And uh, imagine this OA is like a wiper. Okay, uh, the wiper that we have seen uh, that is used on cars. Suppose imagine this is a circular field and this is a wiper that rotates uh, with the axis at O. Okay, so the wiper is attached at O and this wiper is rotating anti clockwise or clockwise. Okay, so let us imagine it's going anti clockwise. So a sector, suppose imagine this wiper has moved moved from A to B. So the distance it travels or the area it covers is called the sector. So this is uh, a sector. Mm, suppose if we name, okay, so this is a sector centered at O. So a sector is formed when, imagine a, a wiper rotating anti-clockwise has moved a particular angle. So this is the shaded area is the sector. We want to find a formula, one with degrees. If it's in degrees, how would you uh, make up a, a formula? We're going to see how we can make up the formula uh, without remembering it. So I hope you understood what's a sector. So this, sh in, in short, this shaded area is a sector. So I'm going to use proportion. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I'm going to, this is um, set up degrees with area. So I've got two columns, degrees and area. So what I'm saying is, when imagine this wiper OA rot completes one full turn or turns 360 degree, it has covered an area of the whole circle which is pi r squared so i hope you know area of a circle area of a circle is pi r squared so what are we saying we are saying that if this wiper oa rotates 360 degree it cross or it has covered an area of pi r squared and if using the same logic when it when the wiper has uh, covered or has traveled theta degrees in terms of degrees when this wiper has traveled theta degrees it forms the area of the sector okay so the same logic so so using this as a proportion <coughs> i can say 360 divided by theta is equal to pi r squared over pi r squared over area of the sector. Okay, so let me scroll down. Okay, so let me scroll down. Okay, a little. Okay, so area of the sector. So I think I'll do one more step here. Let me delete this. This step uh, you may not understand. Some of you may not understand. So let me write. So can we cross multiply? So if we cross multiply, can I say 360 times area of sector area of sector is equal to pi r squared times theta which is pi r squared theta so if you divide this side by 360 you can also divide this by 360 so let me use a different color so i can say area of a sector area of sector is equal to this 360 and 360 gets cancelled which is pi r squared theta over 360 so this is the formula we have uh, made for ourselves so if you remember this formula those who like remembering formulas if theta is in degrees so theta in degrees in this formula can be used if the angle of the sector or angle at the center is given in degrees you can use this formula which is pi r squared over 360 not 36 okay now what happens if the angle is given in radians not in degrees again you should be know you should be knowing that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees they are equivalent okay 
when you say 2 pi, it is always in radians. So 360 degrees 2 pi or 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. So there again we are using the same logic. Same logic when this wiper has moved 2 pi, it has covered a area of pi r squared, the whole circle. Okay. So if it covers from uh, a, if an, if it covers an angle of theta, that will correspond to the area of the sector. Okay. So let me scroll down with the same logic. Let me now remove the uh, wiper or the wheel. So I can say 2 pi divided by theta is equal to pi r squared over area of sector. So the same logic cross multiplying area of 2 pi times area of sector is equal to pi r squared theta, pi r squared theta. Now then I have divided both sides by 2 pi to get rid of this 2 pi. So the pi and pi gets cancelled. So this is the formula area of a sector is half r squared theta where theta is in radians. You got two formulas in radians. Okay, I'll do a few uh, examples based on these two formulas in my next video.